Yo, what is going on guys? Sid Don't Turn Welcome back to another video. On today's video, we have a really cool unboxing here. Um, in this package is something from Japan actually, which I ordered about a month ago and just arrived today. Super excited to dive into it. Um, I, I did already open up the top just because there was a little bit of tape on it and I didn't want to spend half the video taking the tape off. So, we already got the top. I'm not going to show you the other side just because it has my... Um, address on it and stuff like that so we don't need that on camera but what is in this bag is this right here i don't think there's anything else nope we got this thing right here so what is inside this is very nice i don't know why it's got a prime thing on it i'm guessing they just took a little bit packaging from an amazon prime box but basically i ordered this off of ebay um in total, I think it was like 30 bucks or something with shipping, which is not bad from Japan too. Like it's coming from Japan. If shipping altogether is $30, I'm not gonna complain. So this right here is a CD. I'm gonna go ahead and very carefully take this tape off. Put this knife away before I harm myself. And let's open this up. Oh my gosh, guys. So just gonna throw that box somewhere. This right here is the driver arrows japan exclusive summer mixtape cd that was kind of a mouthful there let's go ahead and take this off though basically last year real quick they went to japan and they released japan only cds which they said they were gonna do like years ago which i just remembered when they actually did it um and i finally got my hands on one i when they first came out i was gonna buy one but i'm like people are listening them for too high i'm gonna wait a little bit and then for 30 bucks altogether, I'm not going to complain. Especially because there's an exclusive song on here that I want to listen to. So we're just going to go ahead and dive right into this. Boom. Would you look at this. I don't even... I don't even want to take this off. Like, this cellophane wrapping? Cellophane, whatever it is. Like, this has Japanese stuff on it too. This is the driver. Maybe I'll try and get this sticker off real quick. Wow. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Hold up. Okay. I think I'm gonna try and actually get this sticker off like, kind of nicely because I kind of want this sticker low key. Hold up, we're doing it. Where am I gonna put the sticker though? Okay, let's just get it off first. Boom! Would you look at that? Now, where do I put this? Um, that is a good question. Actually, hold up. Okay, so what I did was put it on a piece of paper, which might sound a little weird, but what I'm gonna do is I'm, I didn't want to stick it directly on my wall because then it might take off the paint and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna cut out this like a little piece of paper that it's on right here and then just tape it on my wall. Um, but so this is what the sticker looks like. I used to be able to read Japanese, I'm not even lying, but that was like five years ago and I could not tell you what this says. Um, well, I guess it shows like some of what it says. I don't know, but once for short, I'm putting it on my wall. So I'm gonna just stick that over there. Um, but let's go ahead and dive into this CD real quick. Um, okay, yeah. Let's get right into it. So I'm gonna make sure there's no other stickers on here, just so I, you know, can save them or whatever my weird self wants to do. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm actually gonna take off the wrapping real quick, so I will be right back with that. Okay, so we took off the wrapping, and it actually has like this little cover thing here, um, which I don't know if it's supposed to stay, but it can't really like, unless I taped it on. But I don't think I'm going to tape it on. I'm definitely gonna keep this. Um. If anyone reads Japanese, please let me know what this says, um, because I have no idea. But basically, I think it's, like, the track list- Oh, it's the track list in Japanese, that makes so much sense. So that would be Malibu. I used to be able to read some of this, I think that's Ko or so. I don't even know, I'm not even gonna make a fool of myself. But they got their, like, Facebooks, Instagram, Twitters, stuff like this. So this cost, um, what is that, $22? Am I, no, that can't be 22 two, two, I don't even know. $20 maybe? Maybe. I don't know how much it costs. I'm going to be real with you. But we got this little thing here. Just go ahead and, I guess, put that back there. Or let's make it even. There we go. And let's go ahead and take a look at this. So, Driver Era Summer Mixtape Japan Special Edition. And you got the normal stuff. Done. You got Rocky's dogs out. Anyways, come over to the side here. It says the driver Air summer mixtape japan special edition um and then on the back here you got the sa uh, soundtrack i don't know what i was about to say track list malibu turn the music up i got you you got me like a king fantasy the money bronco back to you be happening 
endlessly and keep moving forward. But if you come down to this little corner here, you got these bonus tracks, which is Natural Live, San Francisco Live, and I Love Japan Instrumental. I am so hyped to hear these bonus tracks. That was another reason I bought this, because of the bonus tracks. Um, if you guys want to see this right there, just like manufacturing stuff like that. Super excited to give those a listen. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this booklet up. So basically, you got this in here, Japan Special Edition. There's so much glare on this. Um, let me go ahead and take this booklet out real quick, though. I believe it's probably just the lyrics. Unless there's like a special thank you in here or something. Okay. Got the booklet out. Okay. I'm pretty sure... Yo, there's a special Japan note. Hold up. Okay, wait, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on the camera so you guys can pause and read it if you would like to. There you go. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and read this off camera. Okay, so I just read it. And it's just like a normal thank you and everything. You guys can read it if you would like. But basically, there's two booklets in here. This one fell out. But I'm gonna go ahead and flip through this one first. So you got this picture of Ross and Rocky. Just some more pictures and everything like that. Boom. Just cool little pictures. I'm actually going to go ahead and pull out my normal CD I have to see if it came with this. Because I don't remember. This is from Malibu, I believe. The music video. And you got Keep Moving Forward, I think. The white one. Something like that. I don't know. You just got a bunch of cool different pi- Oh, that's Keep Moving Forward. You just got a bunch of cool different pictures of Ross and Rocky in here. And yeah, that's that. Let's go ahead and jump into this real quick. So I believe this is just the lyrics in Japanese. Um, yeah, it looks like it. So you got Malibu and you got stuff like that. So here's the lyrics right here. Boom. It's pretty much it here. And actually, I'm cool that it shows like how you spell it in, um, uh, what is this? Katakana, Hiragana, a little mixture of both. Just Japanese all together. Oh, you got Natural on here too. And San Francisco. So they added those ones too. Oh, wow. Oh, it's in English and Japanese. I didn't even realize that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and grab my normal CD real quick just to compare them. So first off, right off the bat, you don't even got the hard case that this is right here. I didn't even remember that. I haven't looked at this in a while. But you got the driver era. And so, oh, wow. This doesn't even come with the booklet. I don't... Wow, that's insane. Hold up. I'm going to put this back together real quick. Just because this is insane. Okay, so here's both of them side by side. So you got the Japan Special Edition. You got the normal one that was sold in America. And I'm assuming other countries. I'm not 100% sure. So, of course, you got Japan Special Edition on here. And this is just normal. But I didn't even know that this came with its own exclusive photo thing i swear i've seen this somewhere else unless i'm just massively tripping um i didn't even take this out yet hold up so i'm pretty sure the background is just the same too um there i'm sure you guys just saw that but i'm gonna carefully put this back and then we'll take a look inside here so here is just the only difference is obviously the cd is a little bit different and then also the background is wider here and you have the like credits over there and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, and then you flip it over and the track list is down at the bottom here. And then you got the track list up top there and at the bottom with the bonus tracks. So there's a little bit of a difference here. Um, the sides too are a little bit different. It's not, my camera won't focus on it. But I'm actually going to grab one more thing real quick that I never made a video on and kind of wish I did. Hold up a second. Let me, like, get this set. Here is the Summer Mixtape vinyl that I have, actually. Um, I never- I did record a video on this, never uploaded it, just because I low-key forgot to. But I just wanted to make sure- I swear I've seen that booklet in the Japan one with all the pictures, and I wanted to make sure I'm not tripping, but I think I am tripping. Cause, yo. Hold up. This is just not gonna work. Okay, that looks a little weird, but it's fine. So, with the vinyl, of course, you got Ross on this side, Rocky on this side. So, yeah, I am tripping because this did not come with the photo thing. And then you got the white vinyl on here. 
So, I, I guess I've never seen that pamphlet before unless someone posted it on Twitter or something. I'm not 100% sure with you. But, overall, this is just really cool. This Japan one. Super glad that I went and splurged on it. Just because I'm a huge fan of the driver era. I've been following this family forever now, which I'm sure a bunch of you guys have too. But, I had to pick it up. I mean, and I'm gonna give these a listen once I find my CD player, but... I assure you, I will find it. Um, but let me know if you guys want to make a video, if you want me to make a video on what the bonus tracks sound like. Because I totally will. I don't know if they're on YouTube or anything yet. I never really looked, to be honest with you. But I'm definitely going to give this a go and listen to it. Because I'm super excited. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this in-depth review of the Driver Arrows Japan Special Edition CD right there. Um... Let me know if you guys, like, tag me on Twitter or anything if you want me to take pictures of, like, the booklet or anything in there. Tag me down below and I would totally, like, message you pictures of stuff or whatever. So just let me know. Um, comment down below if you guys did enjoy this video. Drop a like, all that good stuff. Subscribe if you guys are new because we've got so much more content on the way. Driver era, reviews, music, drum covers, all that good stuff. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have an amazing day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everyone.